Trading Addicts, what's up? This is Jeff Kohler, a.k.a. Option Addict, from over at www.tradingaddicts.com. You have to excuse my voice, I'm a little bit under the weather. Uh, but let's talk about stocks and let's set up a couple of ideas for this week, guys. So, uh, s and P's spent uh, really a, a week going nowhere. And what they were effectively able to do, you know, is while they've been consolidating and marking time, is working off some of the overbought condition that we've been talking about. So that reading that we had in the McClellan that went up as high as about, you know, a little over 50 last week has now got itself back down to about zero or so. And, you know, given the flat, the fact that we're in you know, inflationary environment, uh, I still think that stocks are going to continue to grind higher. So one thing that has been really interesting uh, coming into this week, though, is the way copper played a little bit of catch up last week. That was one thing that was, you know, really disturbing about the fact that equities have been drifting higher is that copper really has been saying, wait, hold up, it hasn't really been supportive of that move in stocks. But what it's done here is done a phenomenal job of playing catch up and prices have been screaming higher. And with where they're at right now, to me, it, it seems like they're both kind of in agreement of where they stand right now. So what I want to watch is to see any take kind of a leadership role here. Uh, naturally, I'd like to see copper continue up towards its highs, and that will, to me, point out that stocks are more likely to see new highs, uh, you know, in this week or maybe into next. But you know, with the market in the condition that it's in, no volatility, ATRs very, very contracted, no intraday, you know, movements really. For the day traders, I, I feel for you, but for the swing traders, eat it up, guys. You know, these are the conditions that you want to be trading in. So I'd like to just focus on continuing to pick stocks for the remainder of the week because I think there's really not going to be a tremendous amount of market risk, and I think we just continue this grind mode. So anyways, let's talk about some of the patterns that I got uh, coming into this week. Uh, we'll start off with, you know, energy. You know, energy stocks are, are coiled up here uh, a dime a, a dozen. So whether it's, I like this long, drawn-out pattern here in CPX. Uh, beautiful kind of a rounded bottom setup, if you will, like that. Like where the reference points are up overhead. Like the volume and the price action we saw. Uh, Friday. So heading into this week, you know, if energy stocks do well, I think this is one you want to look to target here. Uh, you know, pretty oversold, you know, relative to what my stochastic is saying. And not only that, you got a pretty good distance here to the highs. And then, of course, if you catch the breakout, you're in a pretty good spot. Uh, but I like this El Paso. You know, I like what El Paso has been doing. A lot of stocks looking pretty similar to this. And that is they've just coiled up, you know, over the last couple of months. So to me, you know, they break up or they break down. I think there's a lot of good looking setups here to play. Uh, TLM. Uh, setting up again as well. That's another setup I think you want to watch. You know, last time it did the exact same thing through here. We traded that breakout, did pretty well. It's setting up, you know, on an even bigger scale here this week. Uh, take a look at stocks like CXO. I think this is a stock that a lot of people are watching, but just pointing out the obvious here. Another energy stock that's all coiled up here up near its highs. To me, that looks to me like continuation. Uh, NOV. NOV is looking pretty good up here near its highs. Again, just looking for stocks that are that are coiled up, that suggest breakout, that suggest continuation. Uh, you look at the drillers. I like this setup here in Noble. Uh, PBR, it's been a favorite of mine. Uh, I like what it's doing here. Extend this range out a little bit, and you can see exactly what I'm looking at here. It's pretty good. Away from energy, guys, I also like some of the setups here in tech. You know, semiconductors. And, and those names are all pretty coiled up here. You take a look at Atmel, uh, ADI, you know, we can look at stocks like AMD. Uh, they, all look, they all look pretty good. Not only those, but I also like a couple of setups in stocks like EMC. I think this is a great spot to give it a try, especially if it gets back above its 50-day moving average. It usually gets right beneath its 50-day before it pops back up again. So if that happens, I think you want to take along here, looking for a good move towards the highs. Uh, EMC like the spot in Micron. I love the price action in JDSU on Friday. That seems like a pretty manageable trade here. Mm, and that's about it there. Uh, going back to a couple other names here. Take a look at Netflix. I took I took some Netflix calls, but I'm looking for a couple of patterns that look like this. Not necessarily cup and handle, but have some of the similar parameters and suggest, I think, some of the same things going forward. If Netflix starts to turn up a little bit, I think you got to look for new highs this week. That stock looks set up pretty well. Uh, AXAS, a similar pattern, but looks a little bit more, to me, like a, a pretty legit cup and handle here. In fact, I, I like that setup a lot. I like that a lot. And uh, ZLCS, if we can get a little little biotech here. There's the highs, good little cup shape, handle right through here. Uh, to me, that looks pretty good. 
Uh, let's keep going. The miners, I think, still look pretty good. I keep an eye on uh, Silver Wheaton. The way that it's up here, trying to take out some of these highs. Got to look for some some breakouts in a couple of these. Uh, Quarter Lane's another one. I think if these stocks, if these miners continue to run, these are the couple that you want to keep an eye on. Uh, let's see. Also got, you know, if solar stocks make a push here, I like the spot in LDK, I'm not going to lie. In financials, I love the setup here in KKR. In fact, I hope I can catch it down just a little bit more. Get a little closer to 17, I think that's the spot. Buy this thing with both hands down there. Uh, a couple of China names, uh, PWRD and HTHT. Both of these stocks look pretty similar in that I think if they break up just a little bit, they're going to get uh, pretty volatile to the upside. I mean, to me, it looks like they, they're confirming multi-month bottoming type formations. But take a look at Perfect World. You know, if this thing breaks above its 200-day moving average, it's going to lift hard up through all this price where really they didn't trade a whole lot of volume here. So, you know, a couple of those break out. I think they'll see some pretty pretty good moves to the upside. That's PWRD and uh, HTHT. Also, off the copper trade, you know, with what copper's doing here, you got to watch TGB. Uh, that's one of my favorites coming into this week. If this thing perks up a little bit, you got to buy it. Look at this thing over the last year or so. Anytime it gets into a point of consolidation like this, it gets pretty active to the upside. And let's hit a couple. Well, actually, let's look at one more here. Another breakout play, uh, Union Drilling, UDRL. The volume all looks good. The reference points all look good. To me, it seems like a pretty easy setup where it should see some pretty decent upside. A couple other little small caps that I really like here. Uh, looking at tomorrow. Uh, not that one. Let's start. We looked at ZLCS. Uh, UCBI. Yeah, that's the one. Another multi-month bottom setting up. I like the real tight consolidation up here for about the last week or so. A breakout there should be pretty volatile. Love the setup in USAT. Love this. This is this is really, really good looking. I like that setup a lot. Uh, our DNT. This should be one that goes this week. Keep your eye out on that. I also like uh, ECPN. If the metals continue to do their thing, watch for a breakout here. Let's see. I got INPH, which to me looks like a breakout play that's setting up. And one more, GSX, in case energy names start to go. This one looks pretty good right through here if it trades up just a little bit more. Anyway, guys, so the one thing I'm noticing is that even though you know the market didn't really go anywhere last week, a lot of great setups heading into this week. So if we get into that mode where you know Dow goes up 30, 40 points a day, up or down, doesn't necessarily need to be up. But as long as we remain without volatility, as long as the VIX stays at compressed levels like it is, uh, these are great, great swing trading conditions, so long as you pick stocks that are moving a little bit day after day. <clears throat> I would say from a strategy standpoint, don't chase stuff up at all, because I've noticed in the last week or two what happens, you chase something up a little bit and it just stays put, doesn't move at all. So if you're going to catch these things, you've got to be able to identify the pattern first, pick your spot, and if you can, try to trade them down a little bit or before they move. That's I think that's going to be your best, you know, best course of action going into this week and like I said I, I can only hope for just regular grind up conditions like we've seen and I think we'll just continue to swing trade stocks buy some calls use some leverage and have some fun and make a lot of money so anyways guys best of luck to you and your trading this week this has been the option addict that's been my watch list thanks for watching have an awesome week